In this presentation we're going to look at Markov chains and we have three Markov chains depicted below where the arrows indicate non-zero transition probabilities. Okay, so what we have to do is state in each of the three cases are they irreducible and are they periodic and if they are periodic give the period. So it's important here to know what the definitions here are because I won't go into as much detail though in, the, in other presentations so I'm going to talk about a talk about them a bit more here. A Markov chain is said to be irreducible if it's possible to get from any state to any other state. Okay, so everywhere is accessible from everywhere else. And once you uh, enter a state, it's possible to return to that state. A state in a discrete time Markov chain is periodic if the chain can return to that state only at multiples of some specific integer larger than one. Now this is very important, some specific integer, and what I mean is one specific integer, okay? So for example, A, B, C, A, okay? That means it returns on the one to third phase, okay? So here we have a phase of three or a period of three, okay? So it comes back to A, okay? So it might, it might continue onwards, and essentially what happens is that it might take six phases to get back to A. In that case, we would have six there, and so on. But, and then nine, and twelve, and so on. But essentially what happens here is it is periodic with period three. So for to return back, we could have like multiples of two, two, four, six, eight. We could have multiples of three, three, six, nine, 12 and so on okay i'll demonstrate i'll demonstrate this again actually uh, in the question but this is the gist of it here now it's actually one or the other it has to be one specific integer and in this case it's multiples of two and in this case it's multiples of three but it can only be one specific integer so if you can get back in two phases one way and then get back in three phases another way that means it's not periodic okay a Markov chain is said to be aperiodic if every state is aperiodic. That means there is no period corresponding to that state. So here's the first one here, Markov chain 1. Okay. Well, we can clearly see that we can access any state from any other state. Okay. Which is good. Okay. So that means that it's obviously irreducible. Okay. I'll just write that in there. Now, we can go from state 1 to state 2 and then back to state 1, okay? So that has a period there of, well, a, a sort of number of phases of 2 before it can return. But also what can happen here is we can go from 1 to 2 to 3, then to 1, okay? And that, would, that means it returns after 3 phases. That means it's not periodic. That's it, it, it is aperiodic. So let me just write that there. It is aperiodic. It's an O there. Okay. So irreducible and aperiodic. That means it's not periodic. Okay. Now here, again, it's impossible to access any state from any other state. Okay. So for example, we can go from 2 to 1 indirectly. Okay. We can't go directly from 2 to 1. We can't go this way. There's no transition diagram there. That does our transition possible directly. But it is possible to go from 2 to 4 to 3 to 1. Likewise, it's actually possible for every other transition there. We can go from 3 to 2 to 4. And then we go back as well. So every uh, state is accessible from every other state. So this one's irreducible also. Now, is this periodic, though? That's the question. So, let's just consider state 1. Now, this is actually a, a, a tough part here. So, go for we can go from 1 to 2 to 4 to 3 back to 1. And that would have four phases. Okay? Also, what could happen here is we can go from 
one, then back, or sorry, from one to three, then back to uh, one, that would have two phases. Okay, so, so far, one seems to be periodic, okay? And also, what we're saying for one sort of also corresponds to stage four, okay? So, is it possible to go from one and back to one in three phases? Well, actually, if you try and figure it out, no, it's not possible. Or five phases, it's not possible, and so on. So, one is periodic. Four is periodic as well, by just sort of by symmetry, okay, to one. Actually, if you sort of like just extend the principal symmetry out a little bit further, then you'll find that it is a, 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 the same for two and three. So this is periodic, and it's periodic with P equals to two, okay. So finally, Markov chain three, is this irreducible? No, it's not because you can go from state one to state two, but it's not possible to go from state two back to state one. So it is, it is reducible, okay, and it's it, it also it's it's not periodic because it can't it can, once it goes into state two, it can't leave state two, okay. So it's not possible to go out somewhere and come back, okay. So. Irreducible and aperiodic for Markov chain one. Irreducible and period, uh, periodic with period two for uh, Markov chain two. So just to be clear, aperiodic means not periodic. And irreducible and aperiodic for, uh, sorry, reducible and aperiodic, I mean not periodic for Markov chain three. Okay, we'll leave it there.